welcome back to my channel so for today i did create this makeup look if you want to see how i created it with this palette right here which is the jaclyn hill x morphe palette then just keep on watching hi guys so today we're gonna start off by bronzing i do have my foundation i do have my base on um we're gonna start by bronzing i'm gonna be using like always the two Face in the shade milk chocolate and just bronze Okay guys, so for today's makeup look, we're going to be using the Jaclyn X Morphe palette. Okay, so we're going to start off by grabbing this shade right here. And this shade is actually called Buns. It's called Buns. Okay, so we're going to start off by grabbing this brush. This brush is from Sheen, a brush collection I did want to try out and I am liking them so far. Um, and this brush is in the, sh in the number M07 and that is how it looks as you can see right there. Now we're going to be grabbing um, the shade Buns and start applying it in the crease line. I do like to pack in the shade first where I want it to be located. And then I'm going to blend it in gently. I'm really soft just because they, they, these shades are really pigmented. And then, then I'm going to be going back and forth. Just like that. And my eyes are set already so I don't need a transition shade. I'm going to be going in and grabbing this Wet n Wild brush. It looks like this. And so we're going to go in the, with the shade called Mocha. And now we're going to put that as well in the crease. Now we're going to be doing swipe motions. Now to now in this part, we're going to be going back with that first brush with the shade with the shadow that it has left. Now we're going to make sure all those rough edges are blended in softly. It's called medium shade brush M02, and this is how it looks. It does have so what I like to do is apply the concealer in the back of my hand, my palm, just like that. And I like to grab the brush and I like to just make sure both sides has concealer. What I do is I like to start from the beginning. So that's how I start. So that's how I like to start cutting my crease. I like to apply the, br the brush and swipe it down. As you can see, it's already, since this brush is already is already round, it creates that round part. So now I just like to keep doing that all over. Now I like to turn it around. And continue using that concealer. So one, and I like to do that as well, apply concealer in the front and the back of the brushes because once I see that, see that I've already used enough concealer, I turn it around so I won't have to keep dipping and start applying the concealer once more. Now I'm going to be, you can use a beauty blender for this or another brush to just set that concealer, the tip of the beauty blender. Now I'm going to be using this brush. It's from Morphe. I, it doesn't have a number. So, and now what I'm going to be doing is just packing it all over. Yeah. 
Now in this part, I did want to go back and switch to that first brush I was using to apply the concealer. And this brush, since it's very flat, so I already cleaned it. So since it's very flat like that, it's, I feel like it's easier to grab those edges of that crease. And it's going to be easier to grab it. So I just like to grab a little bit of product and do the same thing like I did with the concealer. So I'm going to go where that line ends and push it down. Just like that. Went a wild brush and dip into that dark brown shade that we used and we're just gonna tap it on the outer corner of that crease now I like to tap it first just to make sure that colors in there just like that Just like that. Now we're going to be using this brush from the same brush set. And this brush, the number is M08. And I'm going to be dipping next into the shade named Beam. And I'm going to use that to apply it in the inner corner. Okay, so now the mascara we're going to be using today is the same mascara I've been using um, for these past couple of days or weeks which is from Maybelline it is in Flash Sensational okay now we're gonna be applying mascara Now that's the mascara. Now I'm going to finish off my face and I will be right back to finish off the look. Okay, so now that I have applied the lashes and mascara off camera, we're going to be applying some blush. Okay, so now we're going to be grabbing blush from Milani. This is in the shade T Rose. And I'm going to be grabbing this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush in the number, number JH04. And this is how it looks. And I'm going to be grabbing that brush and just be applying blush on my cheekbones. I'm applying highlights to just, I'm, I'm only going to be applying it to the tip of my nose. Um, and I'm going to be using that same brush that I used to apply that inner corner highlight. And I'm going to grab the same highlight, which is from the Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade Beam. And apply it in the tip of my nose. Just like that. And the bridge. Just like that. Making sure that... This is in the shade Candy K. And I'm going to be lining my lips. be 
be grabbing this lipstick from Beauty Creations. It's a matte lipstick in the shade Sweetheart. This is the lipstick. This is how it looks it's like a brown, brownish. the gloss the morphe gloss and this is going to be in the shade flower crown Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.